This is a great opportunity to retell what can only be described as the greatest ghost and demon story in the history of Jewish literature. It comes from a book called Kav HaYashar by Rabbi Tzvi Hirsch Kaidenover, a leader of the Frankfurt Jewish community in the 17th and 18th century. And in a chapter of this book dedicated to the reasons why somebody should avoid demons at all costs, he tells the following story. In the town of Posen, there was a large stone home and a family moved into the home and avoided the basement at all costs. One day, a young man, a teenager, descended the stairs to the basement and was found dead laying on the stairs. From that moment on, demons invaded the house, throwing dirt into the food, scattering the household goods all over the place, generally wreaking havoc on the lives of the residents. The family called in the exorcists, they called in the Baal Shem, the magical healer of the Jewish community, who was simply unable to remove these demons from the house. Until, at some point, the demons approached the Baal Shem and they said, we have a right to be here. This house belongs to us and we will sue in court to get what we deserve. Off they went to court. The demons couldn't be seen, of course, but they could be heard. Their voices were loud and clear. And to back up their claim that they were entitled to this house, they said the following story. The original owner had been a silversmith and he maintained a long time ongoing affair with a beautiful female demon. And from that union, children were born. Eventually, the wife, the human wife, caught on. And then one Passover evening, she snuck behind her husband into the outhouse to discover that the outhouse had been magically transformed into this beautiful bedroom. And she caught her husband in the embrace of his demonic lover. And she put an end to it. She called the exorcist, she banished the demon, she banished the children, and that was an end of the affair. But on his deathbed, the children came back and they said, you can't abandon us, you're our father. What are we gonna do when you're gone? And so, being the good father that he was, he said, I'll give you the basement, you can live there, that will provide for you. And so, claimed the demons, we are the rightful owners. The court had never heard such a claim, and so they deliberated, trying to figure out the right conclusion. And they emerged with a verdict. Demons belonged in garbage dumps. Demons belonged in the hills and mountains outside the city. They certainly did not belong in the basements of well-meaning people. And they came to the conclusion that there could be no legal claim by the demons on this basement. The exorcist was able to return, remove the demons from the house, and everybody lived happily ever after. Of course, Rabbi Cardenover mentions this in the context of warning us about the dangers of demons in general, and beautiful female demons in particular, but I have the impression that he enjoyed telling this story just a little more than he lets on.